How is it even possible for a boat to sail faster than the wind, let alone two to three times faster, like this AC-72 of the 34th America's Cup? That's exactly what we're going to find out in this video. Early sailing ships looked like this, and pretty much used their sails as big parachute-like drag devices to pull themselves along in the same direction as the wind. This isn't very efficient, and it's also impossible for any boat like this to sail faster than the wind. This is because, as the boat accelerates, the wind effectively disappears as the boat catches up to it. Another way to look at it is to imagine this red puck as the boat and the force of the wind on the sails as this metal rod. Here, the wind is pushing the boat at the exact same speed as it's moving, which is unrealistic, but you can see there is simply no way for a boat like this to sail faster than the wind. Instead, modern sailing boats work much more like airplanes, which use their wings to generate lift. Except on a boat, the wings are oriented vertically instead of horizontally. One wing is the sails in the air, and the other is the dagger board or keel in the water, also called a foil, which is short for hydrofoil. The foil produces just as much lift as the sail, even though it's much smaller, and that's because water is 800 times denser than air. This modern sail looks much more like a streamlined airplane wing than a baggy parachute. It also generates lift in the exact same way. As the wind flows over a modern sail from front to back, the sail generates lift perpendicular to the surface of the sail, just like an airplane wing. Underwater foils, like the keel on this monohull, come in all shapes and sizes, but like the sails in the air, they also generate lift perpendicular to their surface as the water flows over them from front to back. Except, unlike an airplane, where the wings both generate lift in the same direction to lift the plane off the ground, the sails and foils on a sailing boat generate lift in opposite directions, and this is what propels the boat forward. To demonstrate how this works, we'll use our red puck again to represent the boat, but now we'll use two metal rods, one representing the force of the sails in the wind, and the other representing the force of the foils in the water. As the rods slide past each other, the puck moves forward. And if you look closely, the puck moves faster than the rods themselves. This is exactly how a boat can sail faster than the wind. The tighter the angle between the lift from the wind and the water, the faster the boat will go. And the faster the boat goes, the more apparent wind it generates to flow over its sails, which generates more lift, which makes the boat go even faster. And this cycle will continue until the friction with the water prevents the boat from going any faster. That's why the fastest boats have underwater foils that provide lift in two directions, a horizontal side force to counteract the forces of the sails and drive the boat forward, and a vertical component to lift the boat out of the water and reduce friction. None of this would be possible without high-tech materials like carbon fiber, epoxy, and dyneema, which can create structures stronger than steel at a fraction of the weight. If you found this video useful, remember to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and watch this next video.